it's nearly summer. Yay! Nearly time for our summer holidays. Yay! And so we have our suitcase. All we have to do now is decide what we're going to take with us and pack our suitcase. Yes! <laughs> Hello, I'm Miranda and I teach young children English as a second language through drama. And today I wanted to share with you the suitcase game. So this is an activity, as you can see, I've got all of my objects that I want to pack in my suitcase that you can play with your students both online and in class. And I'm going to show you and share with you an idea for both. First of all, let's have a look how we can play online. Now, this activity here needs, it requires a little bit of parent participation. So it might not be an activity that you want to play every week. It's something a little bit special that needs to involve mummy and daddy a little bit in the preparation of it, but it is lots of fun for the whole family to get involved. So uh, what you need to do, first of all, is you're going to print out, send the link for the printouts to your student's family, to the parents, to mummy and daddy, so they can print out these objects that you're going to need because what we're going to be playing is a type of a scavenger hunt at home, finding all of these different objects that we need to pack our holiday suitcase. But it is going to be a surprise for kids. So the parents, what they're going to do is they're going to actually hide all of these objects around the house in all the different rooms. And the children then are going to find each object. They're going to run back online and we're going to pack the suitcase together. OK, have you got that? <laughs> so here are the rules. So first of all, as I said, whoop, I'm losing all my bits already. Oh, my goodness me. So you're going to have your empty suitcase. The parents are going to have their PDF that they're going to print out and you're going to send them some indications of where to hide each object for the suitcase. So you're going to send it to them, not in English, because there are going to be lots of families who don't speak any English at all. So you're going to send it to them in their native language. So you could say, for example, we're going to practice different rooms of the house. So we're going to practice the kitchen, the living room, the bathroom and the bedroom. And you're going to write a little instructions and say, OK, go and hide the beach ball in the bathroom, for example, behind the mirror. OK, so that could be one indication. You could say the flip flops, hide the flip flops in the kitchen, in the fridge <laughs> because we always keep our flip-flops in the fridge don't we yes so you could have another indication hide the book in the living room under the sofa or for example behind the television another object could be the let's have a look the map you could hide the map in the bedroom in the wardrobe so these are just very simple indications of where the parents mummy and daddy can hide all of these objects okay so that's just the preparation for the game then when you start playing the game this is to review these objects so let's imagine you have already introduced these objects these items to your kids and you're reviewing the vocabulary you're reviewing prepositions and you're reviewing also the rooms of the house so what you can say then is for example show the kids get them online show the kids an object and say go and look for what is this it's the telephone yes well done go and look for the telephone in the lounge in the living room or the lounge in the living room under a cushion okay or under the sofa you decide which indications you want to give okay so let's say under the sofa so the children what they have to do they have to go and run <laughs> and look underneath their sofa at home or underneath the chair and bring out they will find magically find that the object that their parents have actually stuck and pre-prepared and hidden there beforehand. So they're going to bring the object back online. The first child to bring, the first student to bring back online wins a point and you put the telephone inside the suitcase. OK, so that's number one. The second one could be, OK, what's this? You show them an object, so they, you elicit it. The children guess what it is. It's a hat. Go and look for the hat in the kitchen, in the, in the oven, 
in the oven. So you might have to mime a little bit to help them know where to look for the hat because we all keep a hat in the oven, don't we? They were gonna run in the kitchen, look in the oven, open the oven, not on, <laughs> tell the parents, don't turn the oven on, for goodness sake. They open up the oven, take out the hat, first student to come back online, wins the point, and you put the hat inside the suitcase. Okay, so that's clear. So all of your objects, you're going to have all different objects. You're going to have a map. You can have the book that you could put inside the wardrobe. That could be hidden inside the wardrobe. You could have the flip-flops that are inside the fridge, for example, or the washing machine or anywhere. Something fun that the children will be really surprised to find. It's great also to involve the parents so they know where they have hidden the objects. If they see that their child is a little bit in difficulty, they know to help them out a little bit behind, under, on top of... Okay, but just keep the instructions really, really simple. So the students, they keep packing the suitcase. You're going to have a, a suitcase jam-packed full of different objects to take. You've got your big comb. You've got even the beach ball. Yes. You've got also the sun cream. They're going to pack their suitcase. And then last thing that you need, well, you need your toothbrush and your toothpaste, obviously. And what do you need to take with you? A passport you can't go on holiday without your passport okay so you have your suitcase jam-packed great little game to play online with the students and a nice surprise for example at the end of the term to get also the parents the rest of the family all involved in this suitcase scavenger hunt so that is the version online now if you are in class and you are playing this activity and let's say for example you can't move around uh, you don't have the space to move around. Children can't be standing up. They can't, they're sitting at their desks. They're glued to the desk. They can't move around at all. What can you do? How can you play this activity with them in class? Well, you can adapt it, yes. And what you can do is split your class into teams. So there are two teams. There's always a little, nice little bit of competition when you have teams. You are previously going to prep before the students arrive into class and you can pin up, stick up around the walls of the classroom all the different items of your suitcase. So what you're going to do then is introduce your empty suitcase again and you're going to have your students, whoop, you're going to have your students sitting down at their desks and what you can do is elicit the vocabulary but make it a little bit tricky because that is a little bit too easy. You've got the, all of the objects pinned up around the on the walls around the classroom think, yeah, okay, what's this? It's a camera, hey, it's over there. It's not very interesting that. So let's make it a little bit more interesting, a little bit more tricky for them, a little tricky, a bit trickier. And we could do, for example, if we have this object, you could say, okay, where is the... So no volume. They can't hear you say the word. They just have to look at your lips and your mouth and guess what item you are saying. So it could be okay so I've said for example camera, I've said flip-flops. <laughs> when the child has guessed what you are mouthing silently they will put their hand up you can say to them yes you what's the answer and they can point they can say camera okay and you say okay great they can stand up or you can stand up for them go and grab hold of the camera and stick it into the suitcase okay so they they win a point for their team you can carry on again you can say for example okay when the student guesses puts the hand up you say yes they say beach ball where is it over there great you run grab hold of the beach ball or you can get the student maybe to go and get the, the beach ball and they come and they come and put it into the suitcase so it's a really really super duper simple activity and you're making your students work you're not doing all the work for them they have to guess as well okay so two simple activities one for an online scavenger hunt which really surprises kids they're not expecting the items to be hidden around the house you're practicing prepositions you're practicing the rooms of the house and you're involving a little bit the parents then a little fun end of term activity for example and then you'll have a classroom game if you can't move around you can't have students moving around they have to be sitting at desks you can still make it active and creative for them as well a little bit theatrical 
<laughs> so there we are, two games. Hope you have lots of fun with these. And until next time, remember, be theatrical.